Welcome once again to Holly Flavored and Favored. Guys, today, 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 we're going to be uh, cooking up what we call in our, in our house, uh, what's been dubbed as Far East Fridays. Today is Friday, and so we're going to be cooking, uh, cooking some Asian dishes. Uh, not, they're probably not within the Asian, uh, we're, we're doing Asian version of dishes. So let's be clear, I don't want anybody to get all offended and in their feelings and stuff like that. Or calling me some type of racist, or I don't know why, because anyway, we're gonna be cooking up some Asian dishes. Uh, we're going to be look using some Chinese broccoli, uh, some Japanese eggplant, and we're also gonna. So we're going, we're going, we're going to three countries. So we're going to uh, Chinese, China. We're going to Chinese <laughs> China virus. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're going to China with the uh, the broccoli, the Chinese broccoli, the Japanese eggplant, and we're gonna be using uh, the enoki mushroom, which is out of Korea. Uh, so this is gonna be, again, uh, Far East Fridays, we're gonna be adding some rice to that. Uh, it's gonna be just a really, just a, a explosion of flavor in your mouth. And I hope you guys try this recipe, uh, see whether or not you like it. Uh, introduce it to your family. Uh, like this is highly flavored and favored, and we have such a great time here just making food, veganizing dishes when necessary, uh, and just uh, exploring uh, plant-based cooking and you know in, in its purest its purest form. Right, it's not probably not its purest form because I'm sure the purest form would probably be that uh, what do you call it raw veganism. Not for me, not right now, okay? Not right now, I'm not saying that that'll never happen, but for the moment, eh, I like my food hot. There might be a period of time when I'll, I'll you know, go into some raw veganism for a, a period of time, just so I can, you know, kind of cleanse and stuff like that. But uh, overall, I like my food hot, I like it prepared and ready to go and steaming and just, mmm. So, I hope you guys are ready. We're gonna have a blast. Uh, it's we're we're almost we're almost through the month of October. Uh, next month will be Arya's birthday, uh, and we'll be almost done with 2020. Praise God. Let's hope that 2020 ends and 2021 shows us something entirely different. So, again, guys, thank you so much for coming to the channel. Let's get to cooking. All right, so initially what I was gonna do, I was gonna get these guys here, the uh, these oyster mushrooms, or cluster mushrooms, or whatever they call them. Do they have a name? They don't have a name on these. Anyway, I was gonna use, I was gonna cook these initially today, but I said, you know what? Let's do a Far East Friday kind of meal. So uh, these guys will be tomorrow. All right, and these guys here, the enoki mushrooms. Don't ask me why I have <laughs> different different packs there. Yeah, but these enoki mushrooms here. In this case, this is uh, uh, what is this? Huang So Gojip. <laughs> yes, I do some Korean. Ha ha ha. Um, and then we're gonna add in the. Japanese eggplant. I don't know if they're Japanese or not, but we'll go with Japanese eggplant. They were, that's what they were told to us that they were. So just a quick story here. I actually uh, did a, what was what was the, uh, the the thing? The, oh yeah, the, it was a bok choy. I actually did like a bok choy, uh, I don't know, a couple weeks back. And I thought I cleaned it well, but when I started trying out or testing out the food or whatever. I was like, this is kind of grainy. I don't know what's going on here. So you actually have to get all in between the little bits and pieces there. When you're cleaning it, my wife actually helped out that meal. We actually have to take all that stuff out, clean it all good and stuff, put it back in there. So shouts out to her for uh, coming through with that. Otherwise we would have just been eating some gritty or I would have, uh, cause she wouldn't have had it. 
<laughs> anyway, uh, make sure that you clean your veggies, clean your, your hands, uh, your workstation, do all this stuff. This shouldn't be, uh, this shouldn't be like breaking news or anything like that. You should be doing this stuff already if you're in the, in the kitchen cooking. No cats on the countertop and stuff like that. Come on now. This is a vegan channel, but pets have their limit. Animals have their limits. They shouldn't be on the countertops crawling around and stuff like that. So if you're watching this video and you have a cat and you're offended by this, I'm sorry, but it's the truth. <laughs> Good. Chop up this onion. Mmm. Mmm. Uh, when I'm doing Asian dishes, I like to uh, leave my onions uh, long like this. I don't like to dice them. I like to have this nice stringy onion. Actually, there, and there's sometimes I like to have them kind of uh, big and choppy, especially if we're doing like a stir fry. Uh, but this particular dish, which I don't know what this particular dish is. We'll, we'll give it a name after we after we get done making. How about that? So there's our onions. Those are looking pretty good. Oh, we're about to get into the the eggplant in just a bit here. Yeah, beautiful, right? All right, get those eggplants in there. All right, so the enoki mushrooms. These guys here. Yeah. Okay, and one thing you have to be aware of is that you have the bottom here that you need to chop off probably about right there. Get rid of that. You don't need any of that. And once you've done that, as a matter of fact, we'll bring your fish out there, move that lime. We're not using that lime right now, right? And take those to that. Get rid of that piece. And actually, you can cut up a little bit higher if you're just wanting to separate them. Or you could do, you could separate them yourself. Or you can leave them a little, a little larger bunches if you like. Uh, in this case, we're going to say separate into like three, four bunches or whatever. And then, of course, make sure that we clean. And rinse and repeat. Then do the same thing with other boxes of anoki mushrooms. Anoki mushrooms, product of Korea. Annyeonghaseyo! So what do we have for our ingredients here, honey? So we have... Um, <laughs> ginger, which that's uh, frozen ginger that we bought from the Rao, which you can find at most freezer sections. We have uh, one tablespoon of minced garlic, which that's probably more than minced garlic. We also have some sesame seeds, some brown sugar, sesame oil, some wine, some chili paste, rice vinegar, cornstarch, soy sauce, and then we have our spicy chili. What are the exact measurements of each one? I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, so we got the double heat thing going on over here. We got the skillet heating up over here, medium heat. I, I say medium, medium is in like five. Medium to me is four to five, starting at four, but usually like three to four. Uh, you don't want to overcook your oil. And over here, we got our wok, our wok. Walk this way! Talk this way! Mm -mm, stop. Anyway, we're gonna add to our walk some toasted uh, sesame oil. And about. Uh, maybe a little bit over a, over a tablespoon. I know that's a lot of oil for you uh, oil people. I know you're mad right now. Don't be mad. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna all be okay. Alright. Uh, See, this is what I meant by the, look at that oil, already heating up. So let's go ahead and bring you down So I'm going to take you off. Had it cooking a little too long. Woks can heat up really fast, so you have to be aware of that. Uh, but we got this guy over here. Uh, we got our anoki mushrooms over here. Uh, we're going to add some spring mix, some uh, spring onions to that baby girl. Can you please turn that down? And we went ahead and uh, quartered 
recorded our, our uh, Japanese eggplant here. We're going to add some seasonings here. Do, 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 do. Black pepper, mm -hmm. some celery seed, okay, some okay. Uh, cilantro, a little oregano. Oh, yeah. I know that's, that's, that's usually an Italian you seasoning, but oregano does has a little, a little uh, different kind of flavor to it. Uh, this guy right here, that, which I love. And uh, some lottery seasoning. All right, so let's go ahead and get the eggplant into the, the pan here. Make sure you uh, go to Instagram and follow at ha ha hashtag <laughs> at highly flavored and favorite. Got that? We're gonna face that down. White fudge animal cookies? No, no, no. But it's so cute, we had to keep it. So anyway, this is what we use to, to store our rice. We actually keep our rice in the refrigerator in this container here. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and add, what, like six cups of rice? No. No? no? Why, we always eat rice. Yes, that's the problem. All right, so five cups of rice. Four. Four cups of rice. Jeez. Anyway, what's up, Big Blue? Big Blue! All right, so four cups of rice. Now, I don't know if this cup is actually like a standard cup cup, but that doesn't matter. So, because what we actually do is, we use, uh, what was his name, Uncle, Uncle who? Uncle Roger? Oh. We use Uncle Roger's method to, uh, to measure the water anyway. That's the, uh, the one, the one joint fingertip tip method. I mean, not his method, but standard. Asian rice measuring method. Yes, I do. And, uh, there you go. Four cups of rice. One, two, three, four. And then we take this, this guy over here. And once again, we're back over here in the, the cleaning station. And you have to make sure that you're, you clean your rice. I know that sounds redundant, but, uh, clean your rice. And it also helps get all that extra starch out of it. So, and your rice looks like that. And your rice, there you go, how about that? And your rice has that, that, that look there. It's not clean. So we're gonna take it. And also you can find some impurities in your rice. Here, so you can hear it, you guys can hear me. Can you hear me okay? All right, fantastic. All right, so yeah, make sure that you're going through your rice and, and looking through it because sometimes there's some impurity in there, some little pieces of wood and uh, little uh, grains in there that don't belong in there. So clean your rice and look at this, look at that water. See how, how white that is? one. Wait, you're doing multiple rounds, Terry? Yes. We're going to do up to three rounds here of cleaning. You find that your rice comes out really nice. Get your hands in there. Get your hands in there. Get your hands dirty. And I like say, what you're, you're looking for is little pieces of, of stuff that comes along. Impurities. Yeah, see? A little bit, light, little bit cleaner than what it was before. Now, this might be a four round, but we'll see. Oh, it makes you don't lose your rice. Alright. It's looking a little bit better. Looking clearer. You want that clear rice. So we got we get eggplants cooking right now. We got Ari over here uh, trying to get games. My kid is a gamer at three years old, almost four. Could be four next month, guys. So uh, make sure that you're you be four next month. Are you happy about that? He's a happy kid. 
he is extra happy, always smile, always bouncing, always running, always asking uh, questions and in uh not requesting, not not asking questions or asking for stuff. She ask questions, but she won't ask for stuff. She demands things. Mommy. Shout out to the Scorpios out there. All right, so. How many parents uh, have a fake laugh? I'm guessing all of them, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See? Same laugh I give to my, my customers over the telephone. Shout out to my uh, customers. I'll talk to you guys tonight. All right, so we got some garlic going in. Same that same pan, so we went ahead and took the eggplant out of that pan because we didn't want it to overcook. Get our garlic and our, our ginger in there. Oh man, it's already smelling really good. And with this, we're going to go ahead and get a spatula, a spatula. Uh, Why is my spatula? Has anybody seen my super soup? We'll go with a spoon. <laughs> All right. Uh oh, look at those, those fire peppers. I don't know what kind of peppers they are, but they are. Fire! All right, get those going. Saute the oh, we're gonna oh, bring this temperature down because we had kicked it up a little bit. And then we're gonna add our sauce here. Look at that. Let that cook there. Oh man. Oh. Guys, if you could smell what what's cooking right now. Oh my goodness. Wow. All right, so we got our rice going. We have our eggplant cooked, which the eggplant is gonna go back in here in, in a bit. Uh, but right now we're about to get ready to throw that Chinese broccoli in there. And over here, we're gonna go ahead and get the wok going so we can put the enoki mushrooms in there. So Chinese broccoli. Ooh, look how, yeah, look at that. Wow, I think that's about ready. What do you think? <laughs> Guys, I did take an allergy pill, I swear to you. I swear to you, I did. <laughs> Someone help me out. Like I didn't even have allergies before. Now, every day I'm like sniffling. I don't understand. <sighs> that smells really good. Think about ready for the uh, the broccoli? <laughs> okay. And we're gonna put the eggplant back in. Do we want to cube those up? Uh, Maybe. With the eggplant. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now that we have the eggplant cooked down how we want it, we're gonna go ahead and cube those up also and put those back in here. All right, guys, so we are cooking up the, the eggplant and the, the, bro the Chinese broccoli mixture. <laughs> My hand's all in the camera there. So we're cooking up the eggplant and broccoli mixture. It looks really good, tastes so good. The eggplant tastes really good. The uh, the Chinese broccoli is just a tad bit bitter, but it's it's kind of a great juxtaposition. Ha ha ha, he did use that word, yes. Um, uh, between the two, the eggplant and the uh, the Chinese broccoli. So Chinese against the Japanese. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I don't know if that ever, probably did. Anyway, uh, I mean, let's go back. Let's go into history. I'm pretty sure you you probably found that did happen at some point. Anyway, shout out to my tripod, my uh, camera mount back there. What's up? Anyway, uh, look what look at these colors and flavors going on in there. My wife just added her special little uh, ginger ginger sauce. We had that the other day with what did we have? We did oh. Yeah, we had the veggies the uh, cauliflower steaks, mm -hmm. something else. Rice. And rice, it's really good. Um, anyway, we have the wok heating up again. I had to take it off the heat for a little bit and we're about to get these mushrooms in here. We're going on a little wok. 
cornball to my end. That's uh, <laughs> the other day. What would uh, people say about me after I die? My wife would probably, my wife said, uh, my wife and daughter said, it'd probably be my corny jokes and stuff like that. So, gotta be known for something, right? Fun fact. Fun fact. Anoki's other name uh -huh. is Velvet Shank. Velvet Shank? I'm not sure I know what that means. <laughs> Speaking of Shank, if you guys have never seen the uh, Shawshank Redemption, man, you gotta see that movie. You gotta put that movie in your life. Yo, this walk is heavy. I don't know how these tiny little women be flipping that joint. Flipping their wrist. Well, it's a cast iron walk. It's kind of like it is, is that... Yeah. Is it different? Okay, this is cast iron. So... Walks are lighter. Ah. Oh. I see. So we got this, this guy cooking on around here. Uh, we need... I think we probably... We'll use some tongues for this guy. For these guys. There's still some, some separation that needs to happen on the end here. I know it looks a little brown there. That's okay. That, that particular bunch would had a little, little brown to it. Shout out to my... <laughs> she got a little scared there for a second. So I thought I was going to put her on camera. She didn't like to be on camera, guys. She, she's one of them private people. <laughs> Me, I'm one of them wide open people. Together, we make a whole lot of crazy. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but together we make each other crazy. How about that? <laughs> Man, it's a whole lot of Inaki, inaki mushrooms. Shout out to Korea. Y'all want to hear me? Uh, you may not want to hear me sing some, some Korean, but here you go. Now we moving I'm done. I'm done. I swear. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. I'm done. Alright. Alright, so our rice is done. Let's take a look at that. There we go. Look at that. So typically, uh, an Asian rice is more of a uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, clumpy or uh, wet type of rice. I I served. But in, but in this particular household, my wife hates uh, mushy rice. Mushy rice. That's the word I'm looking for. My wife does not like mushy rice. So what, the way we do it is just a little flakier, like this. And it's, it's still pretty pretty close to the standard as far as Asian rice is concerned, but it's typically a little bit more mushy. See, this is what we deal with on a daily basis. Uh, our child talks over us all the time. Trust me, we've tried everything. We've had every conversation in the book about, about this. So we've kind of grown to accept it at times. So anyway, look at that rice, guys. I can't wait to try it and have it with the, the food that's kind of happening over here. Uh, went ahead and added some green peppers because I felt like the, the enoki mushrooms needed just a little bit of color there. Added just a little bit of color. We, add, we also added in some poison sauce. But these guys are, they can't have like a little agami or texture. My oh, wife, she's, she's not a fan. They do taste really good. I did already try them. I will give you ice in a cup. Mmm. 
But I think we are about ready to plate this food. And as soon as the uh, the green peppers cook down a bit, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cover those for a little bit here, just to get those cooked down. And we'll be back with the plating of the food and and the taste test. Can you guys see me okay? With the taste test. <laughs> In an open cabinet. At least it's a cool looking cabinet that's open. <laughs> with all those great flavors and, and spices in there. After all, this is highly flavored and favored. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, share, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified each and every time that there is a video. Also, shout out to the people who've been watching all the videos and stuff. Let me get you turned around here. Uh, uh, like, like Mark, thanks, thanks for Mark and uh, his girlfriend for watching. Uh, uh, Joanna from work, thank you for watching. Uh, Janae, thank you for watching. Uh, London, I'm sorry, I forgot about you. You're usually the first person to watch. Thank you, baby, I love you. Uh, my wife, thank you for watching. My other daughter, she's a teenager, so. <laughs> <laughs> They don't they don't do stuff that you want them to do. Uh, who else watches a lot? Oh, uh, Jen, Jen, thank you for watching, Jen. Uh, oh, actually, two Jens. Uh, uh, thank you guys for watching. Each and every person that watches, I'm sorry I'm, for, I'm forgetting people right now. Chris, Chris, we, we, uh, thank you for watching, man. Uh, Andre, uh, nope. Kevin, thank you for watching. My brother, thank you. I love you guys. Uh, and... Yo, y'all come get y'all kid. <laughs> All right, guys, we have our dish completed, and I'm really excited. Uh, it just smells so good. Um, uh, let's let's start off with the the Japanese eggplant, and this looks this is actually kind of looking like a, like a beef stew almost. So we're gonna call that call this our, our Asian stew. So we got our eggplant, our Japanese eggplant in there. Mm. Hands down, so much better than, than regular eggplant. Regular eggplant kind of has that bitterness. Um, whereas this right here has a bit of a sweeter taste and it's not so bitter. Real like it, good texture too. Breaks down really well. And of course, we also have our Chinese broccoli. And we're gonna get that a try. Ari's made into the room here with her. Maybe can you turn it down, please? And, mmm, tastes good, nice crunch. Make sure you guys get your greens in because greens get it done. Remember that? And of course, we're gonna add our milky mushrooms here. Mm. Mmm, so mm, the flavor is so good. Wow. Oh man, this whole dish is really good. Right. Yeah, and what's an Asian dish without rice? So, mmm. Our rice is good. The mushrooms are good. Our Chinese Asian stew. We're gonna call it. We're not sure we're gonna call this dish yet, but this is Far East Friday, and this is highly flavored and favorite. Thank you guys for coming and enjoying the content. Thank you for uh, being a part of the community. Uh, we're gonna call our community the Highly Flavored Fam. How about that? What's up, Highly Flavored Fam? Thank you guys for joining me again. Tell all your friends, tell everyone that you love that we're doing some plant-based cooking here. And hope you guys have a great day. And remember, always, always, always shine your light, even if it's no brighter than the one above the stove. Grace and peace. Yo, whoo! So we're eating this. <laughs> and we decided to try this pepper, thinking that since it was cooked down, it'd be, it would be okay. Do you see the sweat on my brow right now? I like spicy stuff, but those peppers are spicy. And I know if somebody's gonna watch the video and be like, well, that's not spicy. Well, hey, listen, it's spicy to me. So, speaking, speaking of spicy, the, the spicy is right here. <laughs> the spicy is little child I know. 
Anyway. Oh my god. If it's even this one up, like, I'm like, ah! <laughs> Remember always to shine your light.